the summer just around the corner and a lot of rain recently across the east. Many are noticing the rapid increase in mosquitoes. Yeah, and with a lot of focus on Zika these days, you, the risk um, that the pesky insects pose to your pets may get overlooked. WNCT's Josh Birch joins us now with that story. That's right, Angela. The American Heartworm Society shows portions of Eastern Carolina have some of the highest rates of heartworm cases in the country. It's something veterinarians are concerned about, especially given recent weather patterns. Just the way they react to things and how they think, you know, just seeing them, what they do, you know, just learning about them, learning your dog. Call them man's best friend or part of the family. But for animal lovers all across the East, mosquitoes can pose a big danger to your furry friends. Those mosquitoes that breed in containers are the ones we're most concerned about. James Gardner, the Pitt County Vector Control Manager, says they're currently taking weekly samples from 12 sites across the county thanks to Zika concerns. Still forecasting mosquito populations is difficult. Almost impossible to answer, you know, is this going to be a super bad year? But Zika isn't the only risk these mosquitoes pose. They also can transport heartworms to both dogs and cats. And these worms, as they're in the heart, can break off and go up into the lungs and actually cause them to acutely die. Megan Mancy says monthly prevention is key and certainly a lot cheaper than the thousands you'll have to shell out if your dog or cat contracts heartworms. Roll over. Roll. Good girl. But for some dog owners like Marquette Blango, heartworm prevention isn't something that concerns him. We don't know too much as far about the heartworms, but I mean, I won't keep her outside for her to really get bit as much. But Manzi says any exposure to where mosquitoes are is enough to put pets at risk. The best advice, limit where mosquitoes can breed around you. A little smile for the camera. So you and your pet can rest easy. Tip and toss is taking anything to hold water for five to seven days out of the yard and get rid of it. And Manzi says coughing and reluctance to exercise are two signs of possible heartworm infection. Pitt County does spray for mosquitoes though, and if you notice a large, large mosquito population where you are, the county also investigates complaints. We put some information about that on our website, WNCT.com. Josh Birch, on your side. All right, that's some good information, Josh. Thank you.